you know we can reuse this water for our plants? And this water too. And this, and this. We can? Yes, you can. In fact, one third of household wastewater can be reused as gray water to water landscape plants and fruit trees. And that saves money. Tucson Water customers can qualify for a rebate up to $200 of the cost to install a gray water irrigation system. Save money and collect a rebate by turning gray water into water you can use. Contact Tucson Water right now to see if you qualify. Hi, I'm Eric Drew. You know, I take comfort knowing I'm not the only one that has to do this. The fact is, in thousands of households across Tucson, laundry is a weekly chore. At up to 50 gallons per load, that's a lot of water down the drain. And then there's the wastewater from the bathroom sinks, showers, and bathtubs. In fact, one third of household wastewater is gray water that can be recycled to irrigate landscape plants and trees. As someone who works to promote community sustainability, I'm very interested in what we can do to conserve water. And so too is the city of Tucson. That's why Tucson has a gray water ordinance and rebate program that promotes landscape irrigation with gray water. The ordinance requires new homes to be pre-plumbed to allow separate discharge of gray water through a stub out near the building foundation. It's up to the homeowner to install the irrigation system to use the gray water. Existing homes can be retrofitted to use gray water too. Reusing gray water saves thousands of gallons of water per year. That saves money and there are other benefits too. Gray water is good for fruit trees and desert landscapes. It reduces the energy needed to treat and pump water to and from your home. And gray water recycling preserves our groundwater. Whether you're pre-plumbing a new home or retrofitting an existing home, there are two types of irrigation systems to consider. If the property doesn't have sufficient slope, the irrigation system can be pressurized with a pump. With enough slope, the system can simply take advantage of gravity. A common and easy gravity design that doesn't have slope limitations is just connecting the irrigation system to the washing machine only. Brad Lancaster, a local water harvesting expert, uses a multi-pipe laundry system. And every time we load the machine with clothes and are ready to do a load of wash, we take the drain hose from the washing machine and we stick it in a different pipe. When doing laundry, look for detergents that do not contain sodium because sodium can harm the plant's root system. Another example of a gravity-fed irrigation system is a branch drain. It's a series of pipes that branch out to irrigate tree wells and, in this instance, mulch landscape basins. Lancaster showed us the basics for putting this one together. Cool. There you go. This branch drain is connected to two stub outs on the exterior wall of the home. Just above the stub out for the bathtub, we have the stub out for the bathroom sink. And we are going to connect both into the same line. We've got the low volume flow of bathroom sink water joining the bathtub uh, gray water. And it's key that we have a long flush here so that this flow doesn't disrupt this flow. It's going to be a nice flow right here. At the first branch, Lancaster divides the water flow 50-50 with a double L flow splitter. And what I want to do is take my level and make sure when I glue this, that this is level. To make sure I glue it correct, I mark a straight line. So I will glue it exactly to that point. As he connects the pipe, Lancaster takes advantage of gravity by checking to ensure that the slope of the pipe is at least one quarter inch per foot. Mm -hmm. So the higher we exit the house, the greater the distance we can send the pipe. So we can now do a dry run. 
Three-way diverter valves are used to control the flow of gray water, sending it to the sewer or out to the landscape through the branch drain. Dugout mulched basins enhance the slope required for a gravity-fed system and also work to harvest rainwater. Another method used to irrigate with gray water is not slope dependent. Instead of gravity, it uses pressurization with a pump. It turns on there and it turns off here. To see the installation of a pressurized pump system, we checked out a water conservation workshop held by Tucson's Watershed Management Group. The basic components of a pressurized system include an in-ground tank, which collects gray water through a stub out from the home. An automatic pump inside the tank delivers water through drip lines laid out around trees and other plants. This system includes a filter designed to catch fibers in the water from the washing machine, which may clog small tubing and water emitters. Kenzie Davidson came from Denver, Colorado to participate in the workshop and to see what Tucson is doing to promote and educate the community about gray water harvesting. It's so great that there's already an example here in Tucson that we can say, hey Denver, look at this, this is what we need to be doing. It's, it's just so beneficial for us to already have something in place to say that this is working. When designing your irrigation system, calculate the amount of water that you plan to generate and be sure that your plants can tolerate that amount of water. Plants that can use gray water include fruit trees, ornamental trees, oleander, date palms, ground covers, Bermuda grass, native desert plants that require a lot of water, and vegetable gardens that use subsurface irrigation. Importantly, cacti, salt-sensitive plants, and plants that prefer acid conditions should not be irrigated with gray water. And don't use gray water that comes from a water softener that uses salt. Here are some additional precautions. Avoid human contact with gray water. Do not spray irrigate with gray water. Do not surface water food plants except for citrus and nut trees. And do not use gray water from washing diapers. In Tucson, where water is a precious resource, gray water recycling plays an important role. It reduces the amount of water we use and preserves it for our natural environment. And because less water is delivered to homes and there's less wastewater that needs treatment, energy costs are reduced and so too is the carbon footprint of our municipal water system. When we use gray water, we're doing our part to live sustainably in a desert community. Install a gray water irrigation system and you may qualify for up to a $200 rebate on the cost. To find out more and to see a complete list of resources for the design, installation, and use of gray water systems, visit tucsonaz.gov water.